The Raiders are releasing Pro Bowl center Rodney Hudson, source said. A surprise in Las Vegas as their O-line receives a nearly complete facelift. This is a very shocking move uh, to me because I did not see this coming. Rodney Hudson is 32 years old and honestly his contract does not say go ahead and cut me. It's very unfriendly to a team, especially this year. The Raiders are committing $15.6 million to Rodney which doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion. Like the only thing that actually makes sense is if the Raiders looked at it like Rodney doesn't want to be here. He's vocalized he doesn't want to be here. And therefore the Raiders went ahead and moved on. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, it, it really does not make sense to me. The, the Raiders, uh, you know, when we first brought in Rodney many, many, many years back, uh, I told myself, why are we paying a center so much money? What What's the point? Uh, I, and, and I didn't know who Ronnie Hudson was at that time, right? Like I knew about him, but I hadn't really watched his film and he proved me wrong. Like, you know, a center is very important and having the best or one of the best centers in the NFL makes a huge difference. Your O-line communicates better. They block better. Um, but we know that this past year, there were issues with the offensive line, like, uh, from right tackle to left tackle, honestly, we really were not that great running the football and, uh, to be the highest paid offensive line, I have been very vocal about it. We need to get cheaper on the offensive line. And when I said that, I did not mean we needed to get rid of Rodney Hudson. All right, this one is a very, very shocking uh, to me. Uh, the Raiders, in my opinion, have to have, you know, some sort of talks with Hudson. And maybe Hudson said he doesn't want to be with the Raiders. Um, you know, as you guys know, we got rid of uh, Trent Brown, Gabe Jackson, and Richie Incognito. Denzel Good's a free agent at the moment. Uh, I thought the the two players that were going to be consistent that would have came back was Colton Miller, left tackle, and center Rodney Hudson. It looks like that's not going to be the case. Now, obviously, Rodney Hudson played every single game for us last year. Uh, he was very consistent, as he's been since he signed here with the Raiders. Um, the rest of the guys have been kind of inconsistent, right? Gabe Jackson's missed a little bit of time the last two years. Trent Brown's been very inconsistent. Rich Incognito has missed a ton of time as well. Uh, so it made sense to get rid of those three. But with Hudson, this is very, very shocking. Um, you know, I'm at a loss of words. I, I really want to know what the reasoning behind this whole entire situation is. Why did Hudson go? You know, it had to have been Hudson saying he doesn't want to be here because it doesn't make sense from a financial perspective to move on from Rodney, right? Uh, he's going to eat up a lot of our cap this year. So cut him or not, we can't get that cap back. $15.6 million is, is gone, right? Um, and even then, the next two years, we're still committing cap to Rodney. So this year and two more years, a total of three years without Rodney being here, we'll still be paying him. So it doesn't make sense in my personal opinion. Uh, you know, John Flintiano, uh, there was a tweet that he put out uh, basically trashing the Raiders, uh, saying that Gabe Jackson's now happy that he's no longer having to be here. And it only makes me think, like, is there something going on with the line? Is there something going on with the coaching staff? Like, why would Rodney Hudson, you know, why would he get cut? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm at a loss of words. But uh, you know what? We have to move forward. Right At the end of the day, if he's cut, he's not on our team anymore, uh, which now means that the next man has to step up. And if you guys watch my videos, if you guys have known, there is one player that I am absolutely in love with, and that is our backup center, Andre James. Um, I've watched his film, at least his rookie year, as well as the one game he, he did actually play for us. I think Ronnie Hudson got hurt, so he, he ended up coming in for one game. Um, he started for one game. He played two games. Uh, watching his film... He had to improve, obviously, playing with starters. But when you watch his film against uh, against like other first-year players, rookie players, he dominated those guys, right? If he gets better, and I'm sure he's already gotten much better, right? The film we have was from his rookie year. Now, he's already went through two full seasons. Next year is going to be his third year. So I fully expect him to step in and be the future center of the Raiders, like, Andre James was a tackle in college, and the Raiders converted him to center. 
he was a project that the Raiders started a building. You don't start these projects unless uh, you're going to finish them, right? Like we kept him over other players like David Sharp uh, and other guys, right, that have went on to other teams and actually have started or, or played a ton. Uh, we kept him on the active roster. So I think there's something there with Andre James. We'll obviously we'll see what happens. I'm sure we'll get some more news um, in the next couple of hours of exactly what kind of happened with Hudson. Uh, let me know what you guys think, man. Does this hurt? Are you guys upset? Uh, I personally am okay with it. I, I, I am hurt over the fact that we're still going to lose $16 million in, in cap this year. Uh, but as far as moving on from Hudson, I'm not as surprised. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.